If you're using a DI container with scoped lifetime, could it be causing you race condition issues? I'll explain. Hey everybody, it's Derek Martin from CodeOpinion.com. If you're new to my channel, I post videos on software architecture and design, so if you're into those topics, make sure to subscribe. So last week I did a live stream on domain events and it kind of spurred this idea for this topic, which was scoped lifetime of the DI container and can that be an issue with thread safety and uh, race conditions? So again, this is applicable if you're doing parallel programming and if you're using scoped lifetimes. Maybe you've run into these issues, maybe you haven't. I'd love to hear about it in the comments if you have run into these issues or if scoped lifetime has not been an issue at all for you. Um, so here's the example that I have that I created that kind of serves um, the purpose of where I was going with this is I have three classes, class A, B, and C. Class A is going to take a dependency on class B and C. I'll jump back to the do work in a second here. And class B is going to take a dependency on class C and it's going to call a method within it. So class C, what I have here is a method called not thread safe. And what this does is it takes the parameter of state, it sets it to its internal state here, and then returns the length. And the reason that isn't thread safe is because if you have multiple threads calling this, if they basically set the state and return it, there's um, potentially a delay here, which I'll add later, that where we'll return the length um, that won't be of what we just set. So if I look back up to class A, if you can follow along here, it took B and C. I'm gonna call class C with not thread safe, and I'm gonna pass test, which means that it's gonna set its state to um, test, and then it should return the length, which should be four. And then when I call uh, class B under do work, it was actually passing nothing. So it's changing the length to zero. So what I have here is a little test that basically takes a service collection adds all three classes, A, B, and C, as scoped, and then we're gonna call class A to do work. The expectation is, is that we should get the length being four, uh, because we're basically setting it here to test, and then we're calling do work, which is gonna set it to nothing, and ultimately where this leads is that um, when I do a task when all, we don't know which order these are gonna finish in. So if this finishes first, it'll pass. If this finishes um, first or last, it will fail basically um, is where we're in here. So what I'm gonna do, and again, this is applicable if you're using like ASP.NET, you're using the service collection, service provider built in. This is a per and HTTP request. This is how scoped works. I won't really go over the details of that, but so if I run this test, um, likely it will pass. But what I'm gonna do now, as I have this commented code out here, is I'm gonna delay this task just slightly by 10 milliseconds if we're trying to set it to test. Because what's gonna happen is we're gonna set it to test. This is gonna delay, which means that this one's likely gonna finish first. So we're gonna set it. This one's gonna be um, more than four, like the one for test, it's gonna delay. And then the other one's gonna finish and we're gonna return which means that this is actually gonna return zero and this test will now fail. So we will run this. And it fails. It was four, but it was actually, it was supposed to be four, but it's actually zero. So where this is really applicable was in my live stream is my question ultimately is to you, um, and I posed this question on Twitter, which is, if you're using scoped lifetimes, do you not immediately need to make everything thread safe? And I guess the, ultimately the answer to that is it depends, and it depends on how much you're using um, things like task when all or anything in the uh, parallel libraries. So if you're doing stuff where you're spawning off multiple threads um, and you're doing something like this, it's fine. This would not be an issue if I awaited each one individually. It's just that I'm doing each one um, at the same time, or I'm kicking them off at the same time, and then I'm waiting till they're all finished. So again, if you're using something like Entity Framework, as long as you're waiting every query um, that you make, and you're not um, doing anything like task when all, which technically you wouldn't be able to in Entity Framework, or you'd be running into race conditions as well there, you'd find issues. 
So let me know in the comments if you had any issues with Scope Lifetime, what your thoughts are on Scope Lifetime. Do you just use it by default and not concern yourself because it's such a, a limited use case of running into these race conditions? Again, let me know in the comments. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more software architecture related videos.